All right. You've been tasked with re with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks, some decorations, and even a couple of surviving fish. The aquarium is a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and other facilities for your guests. Both types of points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. Okay, you can indeed root people. There are floor arrows to direct them later in the game. Yes, that's good. Because yeah, I didn't know if that was going to be uh, something we'd run into. I don't remember which game it was I was playing a while back, uh, but it was it was kind of something like this where you had to get people to uh, you had to get people to propagate through your entire park. But frustratingly enough, all they would do is hang out in the front of it because of the way like people got tired. Effectively, they'd only make it through half of the park before they're like, I'm tired, and would give up. And it sucked. Um, and so the idea of uh, actually being able to root people through is kind of nice. Also, you can have, like, windows and stuff. Oh, and even, like, staff back rooms. This actually makes a lot of sense. I'll have to start doing this in the future. So these are walls. I'll have to figure out how windows work. Okay, so combine science across animals, 40. Um... Add animals to your aquarium until the combined value across all tanks is 40. I'm going to pull this back up again. Oh, it doesn't actually say how we get science yet. I was reading that and I was like, wait a second, how do we how do we actually science? Okay, well, for starters, we need a uh, we need Claire. Maybe maybe not. Oh, Ulrika can only fix things. She's good at it, though. Well, for starters, I think we'll pick up Claire. She's fine. Okay, build a tool station. Okay, combine 40 science across multiple. Okay. Oh, they do have they do have fish in there already, but it's not enough. Okay, so that'll fix that problem. Orange and blue, just orange. Do you have fish in you? You do not. Okay, well, let's get some fish. Ooh, mores and royal grandmas. Well, what do we need for a more? May eat or damage crustaceans with a size one or less. We'll grow up to nine after four days. Science points needs a fair bit. Now let's get a let's get a more eel up in this. Zebra more start small, but will grow larger over time. Grown-up animals are worth more points, but they will only grow until you fulfill all their care requirements. Make sure there's enough space in the tank for them to grow into. Okay. So we need a cave at the very least. Hopefully we can get some bigger tanks as we go along, because I'd like to get multiple. Okay, so there's there's the cave. So in that case... Oh, what does he eat? He eats mussels. Uh-oh. Okay, muscle dispenser. Well, it looks like it can probably get a royal grandma in this tank. Two? I think we'll be fine. We'll have to worry about the water quality. Oh, basic filter, power filter. Let's see if a basic filter is enough. It is, in fact. Okay, looks like we're good there. This is neat. Okay, so it looks like some of these have been um, set for me already. Interestingly enough, I only have access to a couple of fish. I can probably throw them in without too much problem. Do I want more filters? Yeah. Alternatively, what what I can do is put a copy mini there. Uh, let's move this staff door over here. 
What do you mean invalid placement position? What? Oh, there's a wall in the way. Can I... Can I not do a wall? Can I not... Can I not delete walls? Ah, so I can. Okay, there's her answer. Okay, so we've got that set up. Um... So what I want to do is jam another combi mini right in here. Oh! I see, so you, you can't attach it to both. I was kind of hoping you could. Well, that's fine. Let's see. So in this case, can I? This is awkward. I probably should have made a smaller tank or just made one of these one one less fish. gonna preemptively do that. We don't have as much money today. Yeah, I'm not I'm not calculating these preemptively as well as I should have been this entire time. Anyway, uh let's let's not be dumb. Let's hire Romeo as well. Two people. I think that's good enough. Is every tank more or less full of fish? Yeah it's like missing one or two, but I don't think there's an undo button in this game, so I pretty much have to live with, a, with whatever fish I put down. I don't think I can just get rid of them either. Frustratingly enough, I can't actually make any new tanks. So we do have a couple other things that I can do. Specifically, uh, just put down some um, decorations. We might as well start with that early. Free prestige is nice. Eel grass. Sure. Sea lettuce. So it looks like there's quite a number of uh, various decorations in this game that we can uh, we can unlock. That'll be neat once we get like actual sandbox levels of like do whatever you want. I'm looking forward to that. For now, let's just go nuts for a little while. All right, and click to open. Okay, good work. The aquarium is restocked and it's open to the public once more. You may have noticed that all the tanks in at Northwoods are embedded into the walls. They're called unimaginatively wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff via the other. This allows you to keep your equipment behind closed doors. Talking of doors, the staff door allows your... Yeah, we already know how to do that. All right, let's close these. Now we can start up... Uh, we can start getting a fish. Just like conspecifics, they not be housed with flame anglefish. Oh, so they don't like each other. So they'll, they'll get nasty if they're together. Greedy. Eats 33% more food. Creates more waste for its size. Little asshole, then. May eat or damage fish with size 2 or less. Crustaceans with size 2 or less. And will grow up. So coral groupers get bigger. Need a cave. Bunch of things. Well, let's go with the uh, flame angel fish. Because they seem... Um... Oh, no. No, we should go for the coral grouper. Coral grouper has science. This guy doesn't. Oh, I see. It's ecology versus science. So in that case, yeah, let's go for the angelfish because that that way we can unlock the new groupers, probably. Because yeah, now now I have access to tanks. Okay, so what kind of science do we want? Basic pump allows you to locate your equipment remotely from a tank or convenient access. Keep equipment out of the way of gas. Ooh, range of seven, and can be con connected to one tank. Otherwise, we could get the power combi. Ah, but it requires some skill. Yeah, let's go basic pump. That's cool. I like the research system. And with the game soundtrack. Yeah, I do too. 
Okay, so what kind of tanks do we have? Wall tank, corner tank, and observer tank. Okay, so that's what that is. Well, honestly, I think I'm just going to be satisfied with what I've got for a little while. Okay, yeah, so he'll be able to grow up. No problem. And we've got enough staff, so we can just hang out. Okay, so build a 3x3 tank with any animals, sufficient water quality, heating, and that guests cannot access. I think we're going to wait until we get the, uh, groupers? Maybe? No, 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 no. Let's see if I can make a, a big ol' eel tank. Two eels. Alright. Wall tank. Kind of yeah, do I want? I think I'm just gonna move these barrels around. I don't immediately need them. Okay. So for starters, grab the bulldozer. Move this here. Uh, oh, bulldozer? Okay, let's move these around. No sense in getting, like, a r really ridiculous setup. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put that there for a second. We want to build a wall here. And we might as well get a, uh, a staff door. I hope these people will be able to leave. It'd be pretty bad if they don't uh, if they don't actually have the ability to leave as a result of all this. We'll find out if they can walk out. Might be one of those where we just wait until the next day. Because yeah, it looks like I might have trapped them in. I'll sell, sell it for five bucks. And we'll try and shuffle them out. Can I, like, pick up these people? Oh, okay, that that's how you do it. Okay, so we're gonna move all of these people out of the back room, because they shouldn't be here. Nice nice that I actually just have the ability to do this. Alright, and let's, let's pause it while we get the actual setup going. So two combi minis. That'll be enough. And we want to have a pair of moray eels. They will eat crustaceans, but I don't mind that too much. Nicely done. The next stage of the aquarium's expansion is down to you. You'll need to fund the expansion using ticket sales to so keep an eye on the cash flow. Uh, okay, so we know about that. So we want to we want to put a second moray eel in there. And they'll grow up to be nine apiece. So I can fit five more fish size in here. Oh, we have access to all of our old fish, or many of them. So maybe a black or soldier fish? Probably. They like caves. Okay, so we need we need some caves up in here. Okay, we got the caves, we got the water quality. All we need is the food. And maybe another toolbox, we'll see. Okay, yeah, let's let's get a tool station in this corner, because I think I only have one on the other side. And I might as well have one on both. Okay, so we need a mussels dispenser. And do we have green food back here? No, we don't. Where is it? I actually don't know what that one fish ate. Oh. 
No, I, I put down a soldier fish, which only needs... Okay. So I have a totally uh, extraneous green food dispenser that I guess I'll just cram over there just, just for the sake of propriety. Propriety? I don't know. But yes, you can, in fact, pick up guests. Uh, let's see. So next up, decorations. Eelgrass. All right, there we go. Life is good. What is this? Oh, equipment needs to be fixed. Yeah, fixing fixing is this guy's highest priority. Okay, so we need to work on quite a number of things. I'm probably just gonna wait until these guys show up these guys show up, these things get get finished. Cause I I like the oh, hello. Oh he's coming, that's good. Why don't we um I'm gonna add another staff access door. There's no reason why I should have only one. We might as well give him more access and I'll I'll move things around as we we get better. Oh, that's the other thing I should probably work on. Benches. There we go. Okay, so now, now people can take a nice break. That's plenty. We need, we need another person. We need somebody for feeding, cleaning, fixing. Honestly, I'm just gonna hire every bit of staff. It'll probably cut my income a little bit, but we'll see. Yeah, we still make plenty of profits. It's just the... ...question of, uh... ...how we get everything set up. So we should probably start expanding a little. Do we make it longer? Or do we make another branch over here? You know, this... Both of these are, feature a lot of empty space. Let's pause. Let's get... Let's... Let's... Uh, okay, we don't... We don't want to build any more. We need uh, a corner... Corner tank. And an observer tank here? Alternatively, we could just do corners. I actually really like the idea of an aquarium that is almost entirely corner tanks. Okay, uh, let's move some of these things around. Okay, so I've got a lot of fish. What do we have? What's worth a lot? So the more eels are worth a, a lot. However, uh, main thing is they go up to be nine. What's the most space efficient fish we got? Because that's that's a four to nine ratio versus this is a three to six. It won't. We want as close to a one to one as possible, right? So if I have two zebra moray eels, that's eight versus three yellow tangs. So it, I think, I think in terms of pure efficiency, yellow tangs and the soldier fishes are probably the best. Or just a bunch of dotty backs. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh oh, okay. So correction, it's kind of a mix. So the damosels up here. Uh, actually, the King Demosels, if I want just pure prestige, the King Demosels 
are probably one of the best. If I want pure science... Uh, let's see. 16 to 9 versus 5 to 3. So... The Zebra Moray Eel is the best, best fish for... Um, is sort of the best fish for science? Yeah. It's, it's the better fish for science. But I think it's more expensive. Mussels are not cheap. What's good for green? These guys kind of. I should sit down and like chart out all of the uh, efficiencies here. I wonder if uh, variety also matters too, like if people care. Or if you can purely just scum this game by going crazy with um, with one type or the other. Because, yeah, realistically, if I'm looking for green, King Damasel is real good. The Yellow Tang is better. The Yellow Tang is absolutely the best if I want if I want green. It's got a decent prestige for its size. Though, the King Damasel beats it out in terms of uh, size to prestige. But I don't need prestige immediately. But yeah, yellow yellow tangs look to be kind of my my best bet in some of those. So that that's gonna yell at me. The yellow tangs are not bully fishes. They need green, and otherwise they don't have much to whine about. Okay, so we want to get a combi mini. So close. Okay, so we'll get a... Do we have any fish that fits the size profile of what? Not really. I could just have a moray eel by itself. Or we could have three yellow grammas. Nope, moray by itself is, is by far the uh, better option. Okay. Not the most exciting of designs, but whatever. I'll go for bigger tanks in the future. Okay, and we need a uh, we need a green green pellet dispenser for this section. Okay, so this this tank's all good. I could actually fit another fish in there. No, wait, no, no, no. That's tank five. This is tank seven. Can't fit any more in this. Even if I wanted to. Okay, right. I got I've still got plenty of money. Asia out here. I think that was Asia. I don't know. Anyway, benches. I'm gonna expand this into its whole into a whole area in a bit. We just need things. I know we're kinda going for efficiency, but I could also say Let's just go for some variety here. Because otherwise I think I'm going to get bored just trying to min-max. Min-maxing in an aquarium just sounds weird and stupid. Okay, uh, let's see, so we want more combi minis. Move them around. And yeah, I'll, uh, next aquarium I think I'll care more about space, space and whatnot. Because we're spending a lot of, lot of time just making these kind of boring spots. 
Let's see, can you connect tanks? I don't think you can connect them together. You can put them next to each other, but you can't actually connect them. Also, thank you, Distroff. Dystrophy? Dystrophy. Dystroff? I don't know. I, I think I've even said this before. Uh, for the, uh, for the five months resub. Five. I don't know if you're counting up or counting down. <laughs> no, I, I know you're counting up. The idea of somebody just doing, like, a, a long con sub message over, uh, multiple months or years actually is both really cool and really amusing to me. Okay, uh, let's see. So, where's the... Which one's the bully fish? Oh, do we not have the bully fish this time? No, it doesn't look like he's actually on the list. Huh. Okay, well, should we get a bunch of King Damosils and cram them in one singular tank? Yeah, sure. What does this tank need? Nothing. Holy crap, that is a very efficient tank to just work with. And just in case... Now I've I've probably got enough. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna wanna put terminus tanks here. Well we'll see. I was considering putting extra feeders down, but I think we'll be fine. At least with this setup. Dystro is the correct pronunciation. So Dystro uh, dystrophy is actually like a, a word? I'm gonna take a look at this. I've never actually even heard of that. Dystrophy. A group of rare genetic diseases that cause progressive weakness and loss of muscle mass. Oh, that's kind of sad, actually. Anyway, we got the flame angelfish. Uh, yeah, angelfish. So, prestige, a lot of green ecology. Uh... But we'll eat stony corals, clams, and gorgonians. Okay, well, I guess we'll get the coral, coral grouper next. Okay. Only one may be kept per tank. It's fairly small and it's worth a lot of ecology. Well, I seemingly have a... A ton of space here. Ish. So I want a tank right here. Oh, if I hit the, I, I think I've hit my space limit. Yeah, I can't, oh, I can't expand any further this direction even if I wanted to. Okay, so we got pumps. We'll deal with that later. Let's get the power combi while we're here. Alright, so we want to get a wall tank. Okay. We're going to start moving things around a little. Are we? Can I? I don't know if I can move things around in the way that I want to. Or maybe I can. Maybe I just have to move other things around. Can I move walls? Okay, cool. I can move walls. Okay. How do we immediately do this? I could I could just put a corner tank here. Okay, whatever these barrel decorations are, they're neat. 
they're also in my way. I'm just gonna put them there for a second. Actually, I'm just gonna sell this. We're going to get a, a corner tank and expand that out that way. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep moving things around until I get what I need. I like the fact that you can shuffle wall segments around. That's a that's a nice system. Okay. What's wrong with you? Okay, looks like it's fine now. It was just whining for a second for some reason. Okay, so flame angelfish is three. Yeah, if I can get this, that would make my life even easier. Um, question. Basic pump. Okay, it's currently blocked. So we might just have to have a, a small tank. Uh, I'm learning. Yeah, the fact that I can't move past the entrance is actually throw, throwing me off more than a little. Not a big deal. Let's not put any eelgrass. I actually don't like the look of the eelgrass that much. We'll get some rubble. Okay, so this is tank 11. We can't have any more flame angel fishes, but I believe I can actually have another one of these. So let's just let's just leave it as a flame angel fish only. What's wrong with you? Okay. For whatever reason, it feels like this one has suddenly... Suddenly just randomly become ornery, and I don't entirely know why. Well, one way or another, um... Yeah, as soon as we get this guy, I'll, I'll stick him in that tank, and that'll, that'll just be a two-fish tank. Okay, let me just let time go. I I need to close some of these windows before we look at this window. Okay, impressive work on the latest expansion. You've proven yourself ready for even more advanced aquarium design techniques. It's time to learn about pumps. Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment away from your tanks. Instead of attaching your heaters, filters, etc. directly to the tank, you attach them to the pump, which is several tiles away. Demonstrate your understanding of pumps by building a pump and tank configuration Matching the spe specifications in your objectives. Gotcha. All right. Well, in that case, I've got plenty of money. Let's let's just keep expanding this side room. And do we have a lagoon tank? We do. Good. Much bigger. How huge can this go? Okay, it can go pretty dang huge. What kind of size do we want the lagoon tank to be? I need more need more space in here. Luckily, space is shockingly cheap. So I could have it be four. Four or five. Let's keep it four. Okay. And yeah, I want some wall tanks. Do I? Yeah.
question is, how far of a pump can I have? Because I was actually hoping I could get this before I really get working on the thing. Okay. So we can actually get some more space over this direction. For things. It's just going to be a, a bunch of big empty nothing for a while, but that's okay. Can I just build walls along this? No, I can't. We're worth a shot. Okay. Yeah, I could just wait for this to fill in. It's gonna take a little while. We're at the halfway point. Oh! Unless these don't fill up until I actually put things in. Uh-oh. How? Why? I don't understand. Sometimes the water quality just kind of drops. Oh, it's the eels. The eels got larger. Okay. So we just unlocked the coral grouper. Let's take a look. As a couple of care requirements you haven't seen before. They're greedy, which means they eat more and lower the water quality more than other animals. They dislike con Okay, so they only one per tank. They may eat fish and crustaceans, which are smaller than itself. Okay. So I'll have to take a look at that. Okay, so for starters, let's move this filter into this corner. Oh. I guess I'll just put it here for a second. I shall. Yeah. I found another game you might be interested in. Nope, that's gotta be there. Okay. We'll just jam a power filter next to that. Stupid eels. Greedy little suckers is what they are. Uh, let's see. Okay, so fish. So we have the flame angel fish. They're not a problem. Coral grouper. Fish with size two or less. Okay, so that's not actually a problem with this setup. They get kind of big, though. What's the water quality like on this guy? Decent for now, might get worse. Don't know if I want to risk it in this current situation. Oh, I never actually put anything in this one. Have rubble! I don't think I'm going to be able to do too much over here yet. We'll see. Okay, uh, we want the, uh, we want the basic pump. And effectively, it just has to touch. Okay. So that should be good enough for now. Let's get one of these assholes. Okay, so it's not warm enough. Okay, one of your guests is thirsty. Build some vending machines so they have somewhere to purchase a drink. Selling your guests refreshments is also a great way to boost your income. Alright, well, first we're going to finish working on uh, Benchland. It's really tempting to put uh, Jerkfish in a tank by himself. Yeah, this guy, this guy's a jerk. I'm gonna call this, uh, get off my lawn. <laughs> His asshole, the technical, uh, name of this fish. I, realistically, if I was, uh, extremely motivated, I would, I would actually come up with, uh, special names for every single fish. 